The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. Out at sea, Ten Cents and Sunshine spotted a tug they'd never seen before. His name was Boomer. He was just drifting. Realizing he could be in trouble, they approached him cautiously. His engine was stopped, maybe even broken down. A tow line drooped in the water and his rigging was scrappy. No flag flapped in the breeze. It seemed no one owned him. Keep away. Just leave me alone. Please. Look, we can't. You're drifting in busy sea lanes. That's dangerous. Even better. Yeah, we'll have to take you in. Just leave me be. I don't want any help. Why? Why not? Because, well, because I'm a jinx. I'm bad luck. Nobody wants a jinx. Oh, rubbish. There's no such thing as a jinx. Oh, isn't there? You'll soon find out. Stand off me. Look, jinx or not, we have to take you in. Shipping lanes have to be kept clear. Aye. Captain Star will do something. No, he won't. Nobody can. Jinx has just happened. I just shouldn't have been a tug. Yeah. Have you always been like this? My name used to be Captain Harry. That was good then in those days. Then I was sold. They painted out my name and called me Boomer. Ever since then, nothing but trouble. <laughs> Boomer was right. Ten cents had set off ahead when, to everyone's amazement, the tow rope unwound and fell into the sea. <laughs> well, how did that happen? Oh, did you do that? Can't have, can I? It's you that's lost the tow. The rope's still attached to me. Ah, he's right, Ten cents. That's the first sign of a jinx I've ever seen. Yeah, well, it won't happen again. Look, come on. The sooner we get him to Captain Star, the better. Who's he, Ten Cents? Oh, it's Boomer. We found him drifting out on the estuary. Oh, what's up? Well, he says, uh, he says his engine's not working. He'll be all right now, son. I see. Sunshine, go pick up the coal barge and we'll try starting him up. Yes. <laughs> Later, when Ten Cents and Sunshine had restoked Boomer and got a good head of steam, the big moment arrived. OK, Boomer, try your engine now. <laughs> Well, uh, do you see now? Pull him out! Pull him out! Aye, aye, sir! It was as well for ten cents that he still had a line on Boomer. With smoke billowing everywhere, it would have been difficult and dangerous to get too close. He pulled him clear of the dock, and strangely, as soon as he was clear, the smoke stopped completely. How do you do that? The smoke's all gone. Now look. Told you, sunshine. Jinxed. Hey, what the? That's never happened before, has it? Uh, no. Uh, oh dear, Boomer. I think. Ten cents. Take that tongue to Lucky's yard right this minute. Understand? Right, sir. <laughs> Here, I think Boomer's taking on water. Hey, Boomer, what's so funny? <laughs> I'm thinking just what I wanted. What? Look, we're going to make it to Lucky's even if I sink with you. Cut free, cut free. I'm sinking. Save yourselves. Huh? Oh, well, that's lucky. He's come to rest on that old sunken garbage barge. Look, you stay here. I'll go and get a rescue crane. Hey, maybe the jinx has stopped now, eh? <laughs> You're still afloat. No, it hasn't. It's still here, all right. I wanted to sink, but instead I land right on top of an obstacle that doesn't let me. 
All I want to do is sink and become a home for the fishes. Then I won't jinx anyone. Mm. Mighty Mo, the floating crane, had found the task difficult. Troublesome things had been happening during the afternoon. Ten cents had collected a large barge in which Boomer was to be placed once he was high enough out of the water. Be sure to get that barge under Boomer as soon as you can. He's heavy, and I don't want to hold him too long. He's coming up, full fellas. Full steam. You'll be okay now, Boomer. Yeah, come on, Boomer. Me horse is jammed. You'll have to take the barge and we'll travel like this. <laughs> Just what I thought would happen. Oh, another jinx. Don't be silly, sunshine. Moor that barge somewhere and go tell Captain Star. We'll have to try and tow this lot to Lucky's yard before it gets dark. Oh, you reckon we will? Yeah, if we don't get jinxed before we get there. Hey, I hope you haven't spoken too soon. Lucky's yard was ready for them. It was brightly lit up as they approached. Big Mac and OJ were also there to take the cranes away. And ahead of them was a rough construction ready to take Boomer. Be careful now. You have to guide the cranes so they can lower the tug onto that raft. Right. Yeah, yeah, I see it, OJ. Right, it's up ahead, sunshine. Aye, aye. Steady as she goes. What's going on? What's all doing? Get your own lights onto that ring, quick! That's it! Ah, good. It's all right. I've got it again, Big Mac. Straight ahead! Oi! Oi, oh, don't push! I understand! What are you doing? What is going on? No serious damage was done to the tugs. Boomer was repaired, and some days later was working for Captain Zero. He and the Z-Stacks were on the munitions contract. Good luck, Boomer! No sooner had Ten Cents tooted his greeting when the munitions barge exploded, much to the Z-Stacks' bewilderment. See, you can't get rid of a jinx that easily, Ten Cents. Aye. That was enough for Captain Zero. He got rid of the unhappy Boomer. Well, I took him back, intending to use him for simple jobs where nothing could go wrong. See ya, Boomer. If you need any help sinking, let me know. Ten Cents and Sunshine had just delivered some barges to a customer. I've just been thinking. Yeah? Thinking what? I've just been thinking that you make Jinx Boomer. No, I don't. You do. How? Look, every time he's working and we've gone past, you've sounded your hooter. So? It's cool being friendly. Not if it always causes an accident, and it always does. Just think, the ammunition barge, Mighty Moor, the rope, the engine. Well, well, that's coincidence. Not jinxed. Call it anything you like, but it seems to coincidence Boomer when you do it. Yeah? Well, I'm going to go and speak to Boomer about it. Look, you're coming. Ooh. Yeah, see it, Boomer. We think we might have solved the problem and we want to try something. Go on, ten cents. Do it. Blow twice. Yeah, well, that was a stupid exercise, sunshine. No, it wasn't, ten cents. No. Don't believe it. To get another one fast. I've had just about enough. <laughs> Down to you, ten cents. You better go fetch another marker, boy. The following morning, after the briefing, I made the three tugs stay behind. Right, switchers, you can show Puma where the schooner is. We have a contractor tow her out to sea. I reckon Puma can do that. 
Seeing there's no engines to break down, to catch fire, no crane horses to snap, no ammunition to explode or boys to sink, just plain sail. And if Boomer breaks down, then the sail can more likely pull him. Very droll, sir, very droll. Look, come on, before he changes his mind. OK, but don't toot. <laughs> they escorted Boomer to the old wharf, <laughs> without anything going wrong. Good luck, Boomer! No such thing. There is, but it's recognising it that's difficult. Well, don't sound your hooter. Maybe that'll help me recognise something. <laughs> it's just got to be OK this time. Nothing can go wrong now, really. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Anyway, if it does, it's nothing to do with me. I'm staying right here in the harbour. You've got to admit, Ten Cents, it is a bit mysterious, all this jinx stuff. Things going wrong like that. Later, Ten Cents and Sunshine were working with Big Mac and OJ when the fire launch brought in Boomer and a burnt-out schooner. Boomer, what's happened? Lightning. That's what happened. But that fire object didn't believe me. He thought I was going too fast and a spark flew out of my stack. But it's not true. Duh. Anyway, I can't be bothered to argue anymore. We well, must have done something. I did nothing. Lightning? Well, it's possible, I suppose, but on such a nice day as this. Anything's possible with Boomer. He really is jinxed. After the schooner incident, I decided there was only one thing for it. I had Sunshine take Boomer to Lucky's yard with strict instructions that he was never to be used as a tug ever again, no matter what. It was therefore a surprise to Ten Cents and Sunshine when a few weeks later I ordered them to pick up Boomer and take him upriver. Why wouldn't he tell us why? Uh, we'll find out when we get there. I've been dreading what's going to happen to him. Yeah, I don't like the sound of upriver. There's a ship's graveyard there, full of rusting hulks. You know that. Ten Cents and Sunshine were expecting the worst. I had said that Boomer was never to be used as a tug again, and that's exactly how it was. When they arrived at the yard, Boomer the tug was nowhere to be seen. Moored by the pier was a strange-looking floating house. Top of the morning, Ten Cents. Morning, Sunshine. Is that really you, Boomer? Indeed it is. Well, a house vote. Well, don't you feel so silly? Not one bit. Not at all. It's what I always wanted to be. Now, hurry up, you two. I want to get upriver to my new mooring. When they found it, it was a tree-lined bank, and it was clearly marked Done Tugging. My, my. Home sweet home at last. Oh, you like it here. Lots of nice trees to keep you cool in the summer. It's all I ever wanted. Thank you both. I'm sorry if I got you into trouble. Nah, that's all right. Well, let's hope the jinx left you. It's what it did to others that worried me the most. Well, time to go. Yeah, we'll come to visit you sometime, eh? Thanks. Thanks, both of you. Thanks for everything. <coughs> oh, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, the jinx! <laughs> no, it's gone. It's over. That proves it. If I was still jinxed, the tree would have crashed down on me. Or one of you two, more likely. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, great. Yeah, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Look after yourselves. Hi, yeah. Trouble. Yeah, Boomer. See you, Boomer. Thank you. For ten cents and sunshine, it was back to work as usual. But for Boomer, well, he'd found his ideal place in the world. <laughs> and he was very happy there, because the jinx had gone. <laughs> <laughs>